Under Governor Larry Hogan's new order, only schools that are low performing or charters can apply for a waiver allowing them to start before Labor Day. And it only applies to schools that have an innovative schedule that is in session during the summer. Districts that had 10 days of weather related closings twice in the past five years can apply as well. Children shouldn't be used as pawns. Baltimore County Delegate and Chair of the House Education Committee, Adrian Jones, feels strongly that the governor's order oversteps his authority on an issue that should be left up to local school boards. I think that uh, it is an overreach and uh, and at the same time we are going through there's a review looking at it from a legal standpoint we haven't gotten that back yet and I think that um, it's you know premature to try to do for one executive order to jump to another without getting a legal opinion on the first. A couple weeks ago, Governor Hogan issued instructions to staff to come up with guidelines for districts seeking waivers. One state school board member feels the governor's intention is to make it extremely difficult for the agency to issue waivers. I think he's undermined his own state board of education, and I think he's made it harder for Maryland educators to do what a great many Maryland kids need, which is, uh, frankly, more schooling, not less. Senator Paul Pinsky from Prince George's County explained what could be the next step. I think it should end up in the courts. Uh, it could, could uh, result in legislative action. You know, I think I'm going to have to join with my colleagues to figure out what's the best strategy. And so that state school board member, of course, and the lawmakers we spoke with want local districts to make the decision. But a Goucher poll conducted last month showed that most people surveyed support starting school after Labor Day. Those numbers break down to 68 percent to 19 percent. Reporting live in North Baltimore tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.